Barely got that one. That was a struggle. Welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids. Today we got the new Dark Web Hybrid from Hammer. Our lefty specialist and only lefty on the team, Barks is back and he's gonna throw this ball against two other hybrids in his bag that also feature the HK22 base cover stock. HK22, HyperConnect 22, I love this cover and it seems to come out on every single ball or almost every shiny ball in the Brunswick line. So talking more about this ball, it has the same core as the original Dark Web and it also features the aggression additive package in the cover stock. Now expectations for this ball, because this is a symmetric piece as opposed to the two asymmetrics, it's gonna be a bit smoother of a shape overall. Also gonna hook a bit earlier on the lane, mainly because of the 2000 finish it has out of box and these ones having compound. And in terms of overall hook, meaning boards covered, this ball is gonna hook about the same amount as the Black Widow 2.0 hybrid, but the Connect Cobalt is gonna be a bit less overall. So these two kind of the same, this a bit less. Okay, enough in here. Let's go to Barks on the lanes. Hey everyone, Barks is back again. Got the new Dark Web Hybrid from Hammer. Like you saw in the intro, I got this along with two other hybrid cover stocks with that HK22 base. Let's start with the Dark Web Hybrid here. So we're on 40 foot Mercury. They are hooking a lot. Gotta pitch this out to about six or seven down lane. Hmm. All right, missed a little bit inside a target there. As you can see, not the easiest pattern in the world. You miss a little bit in, that ball is gonna pick up a little too early and go through the face just like that one. So even with a sanded finish at 2000 on this ball, you can see it still wants to change direction quickly down lane. Usually a sanded ball is gonna really smooth out that ball reaction, but this one's still pretty quick down lane. I like it, a little different. It's close. Okay, we're definitely in the right ballpark now. Got that a little bit further left. D came up a little short, a little flat seven there. I think if I straighten my angles out a little bit, I'll have more ideal ball reaction. I'm gonna bump to left. Should face up a little bit nicer. I think it's a little too steep through the front. That's a heck of a lot closer, I like that. I think if I slow it down just that little bit, it's gonna make it around the corner the right way. Get there. Oh gosh, so far we are 0 for 4. I think the speed's right, let's, I don't know, move right again? We gotta find the right shape here, it's a little tricky. That's close. Oh man, I'm not loving what I see so far. If I get it left, it struggles to get up the hill, but as soon as you get it too much up the lane, it really wants to corner, it goes sideways. It's having a bit of an identity crisis. Move one right with my feet again. there. Oh, that, that was a struggle. Still not convincing, but at least they all went down. I think it's time for a change because one out of six is not a good, good strike percentage there. Let's try Black Widow 2.0 Hybrid. This is similar cover stock. Uh, slightly different core shape, obviously, asymmetric versus symmetric on the dark web. It's a little bit shinier too, so you would think it's got more engine, it's gonna be a little bit quicker off the spot. This should be actually a little bit more sideways and further down the lane. See, I feel with that, even though it's shiny, it, I feel like I can predict more what it's going to do versus the sanded finish on the dark web hybrid. Sometimes it wants to roll early, sometimes it wants to retain and go sideways, and I just don't love what I'm seeing out of that. It's close. There we go. Maybe it's just the core shape that I like. Obviously that gas mask has been used forever, but it's just predictable in what it does. 
It does the same thing every time. And that's what I like to see in a high performance bowling ball. Let's go to a little weaker option. Let's go to Kinetic Cobalt. So another asymmetric core with that HK22 hybrid cover, a little bit weaker, a little bit less differential, so it should hook a little bit less as well. So comparing this to both balls, this should be the longest and the sharpest, but the least amount of hook overall. So with that said, I think I'm gonna have to move my feet quite a bit left. I move five left off of where I was with the Black Widow hybrid. See if that works out. Better. Yeah, I'm five left of where I was. That ball still gets down the lane. It's not super sharp. Obviously, the core is not gonna help it change direction as hard as some of the other balls. Just less diff, uh, less hook potential overall. So even though all three balls have similar cover socks, it's the engine inside that makes them do different things and allows you to play different parts of the lane. Yeah, a little straighter, which is where I like to be, a little bit more up the lane, more direct and that ball's not super sharp down lane, so I like what I see out of that one. Let's go back to the web. Obviously, the ball's looking a lot earlier. It's got more engine. Uh, I'm gonna move quite a bit further right, kind of where I was with the Black Widow previously. Hey guys, question time with Barks. Now, I just got back from the PBA Tour Finals just down the road near Seattle. Uh, I was filming for Packy Hanrahan and the House Channel. If you haven't checked out that channel, make sure you click on the link right up here. Um, it was cool to hang out with all the players. My question to you, if you could hang out with one PBA pro for a day, who would it be? Let me know down in the comments. Hopefully I find the right line because I'm not liking what I see out of this ball so far. It's close. Man, I'm really good at getting nine with that ball. If you're wrapping a seven like that, what do you have to do, slow the ball down? It's just a hair short of the pocket, it feels like. Move one right and throw it slower. Yeah, maybe we'll send it home on a, on a good shot that carries all 10, we'll see. Barely got that one. Let's send it back to the shop. All right, I'm back from the lanes and that was quite the adventure out there with this dark web hybrid. I would say this is probably the least that I struck throughout a, a ball review video. Uh, compared to a lot of other balls that I've thrown in the past, this one didn't quite suit my eye and give me what I wanted to see out there on the lanes. Uh, and as a result, I didn't strike very often, which is a little bit embarrassing, honestly. Every so often a ball for me based on cover stock type and cover stock strength. It has a bit of an identity crisis. I think this ball might be a little bit better if it came with a compound or a polished finish. I certainly had more success with the shiny balls like the Black Widow 2.0 Hybrid or even this Track Kinetic Cobalt. In my opinion, with that shiny surface on those HK22 covers, the ball motion seems to be more predictable. In my opinion, when, when these balls encounter friction with the polished finish, they tend to come off the spot the same way. The Dark Web Hybrid here with that 2000 finish Sometimes it wanted to hook a bit early and go through the face. Sometimes it wanted to go too far down the lane and not quite change direction as hard as I was hoping it would. Now, if you go back to the video for the Radioactive Vibe, I did end up changing the surface on that one. In that case, I actually took the polish off of it and gave it more of a sanded finish. I might do the opposite on this one and add compound or polish on top of it just to see if I can create a more consistent ball motion. I think this is a case where with the core and cover stock and especially that surface finish, they don't quite match up with each other as far as what I wanna see in my game. Now I'm not ready to write this one off just yet, but so far I'm not a huge fan, but hopefully changing the surface a little bit can win me over. Now, if you're in the market for a new ball, uh, head to shop.bufabowling.com. Use our promo code JUNGLEBARKS and save 10% off your entire order. All right, that's enough in here. Stay tuned for our next video. Get there. It's close. No, go! Oh.